Starbreeze. Better deodorant. Code name Leggett to Hunter. I have located the Starbreeze. I owe command ten credits. You look awful, by the way. Get that shuttle running and rendezvous at these coordinates. Hunter, out. Sir, pirates are down, but I'm the only one left. We need to get moving. Have you been injured? Scratches, sir. Deep scratches. Force trick saved my life. Hate to say it, but we'll need help flying this thing. Half the systems are frozen. You can help, but you don't repeat anything you see. Understand? Understood, sir. Especially when we hand it over to the Republic. Yeah, you definitely do not want to be blabbing that. And here we are. All right, Hunter. Nice landing. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Solid body, not a scratch on her. And she came with my shuttle? What's her name? Ensign Rena Temple, sir. Chiss Expansionary Defense Force. Of course. Minder 17, Imperial Intelligence. Excellent work, both of you. I couldn't have done any of this without her. I praise. Maybe she deserves a promotion. I'll fly the shuttle to its final destination. You can take my ride home. Ensign, why don't you and Kaleo run a systems check? I need a minute with the agent. I'll chisel the ice off the pilot seat for you. Hm. Arden Koth will be happy. But the girl, we agree she needs to die, right? That's unnecessary. She knows better than to reveal classified intelligence. Maybe I like to be careful. Look, you've worked with her. You've bonded with her. Fine. I'm not heartless. Maybe she'll even be useful. You want her to live? You take responsibility. Stash her on your ship. She doesn't talk to anyone. Doesn't learn about the SIS. What sort of person would subject her to that? A merciful one? Just to be sure, though, I'm putting a command in your brain. Keyword, onomatophobia. If Raina Temple becomes a threat to our mission, or leaves your supervision, you will kill her. You won't have a choice. Automatopia. Sir, Minder 17 told me about the transfer. I'm... a little surprised. If Intelligence wants me out of the GIST Defense Force, though, I won't argue. Nice as it would have been to pack an overnight bag. I know it's sudden. You'll have to manage as best you can. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic opportunity. My father would love this. But if I can ask, why do you want me here? <laughs> Maybe I just like having a woman like you around. I'm sure that's true, but if you won't tell me the full reason, just say so. You're cute. We're going to a cantina and you're getting me so many free drinks. <laughs> I'll try to earn my keep. Hey, Agent. I'm grabbing this ride. Race you back to the ship. So yes, she is our new companion, which I actually knew that was coming. Because I saw that when I was looking for information about Kaleo. I know the last companion is too, but I won't spoil it. Uh, let's see, she's a DPS, range DPS. I'll probably try her for a little bit, but I don't think she'll be... I don't think it'll work well. I think we'll get our asses kicked. Uh, let's see. Burst fires a series of powerful blasts. Uh, 400 to 600 damage. Force Burst Temple uses the Force of Blast. A target for 500 to 531. Uh, thermal Bomb throws a Thermal Grenade that deals 295 to 307 connect damage. I'm sure we'll turn that on. Uh, aimed Blast shoots the target for 1100 to 1300. Wow, nice. Shield Boost increases range and melee defense for 50% for 15 seconds. Here's a cooldown with a combat acumen. We won't turn that on. Uh, 
Blaster sweep sprays wave of bolts in a cone in front of the companion. It's like the 830 to 1100 weapon damage over four to five seconds. Sure, we'll try that. Twin shots fires both blasters, doing 285 to 327 weapon damage over three seconds. Combat acumen increases the critical hit chance by 25% for 15 seconds. Yeah, we'll do that one. Uh, sniper mode increases the damage of the companion's act. Decreases. Wait, increases the damage of the companion's activation time abilities by 10% and decreases the activation time of aimed blast by 0 0.5 seconds. That's weird. Uh, assault mode increases the damage of the companion's area damage abilities by 10 and decreases the cooldown of area damage. Eh. They're so flaky on their AEs, I don't want to bother with it. So, uh, we've taken that off. And let's ride. Uh, leveling tips for leveling. I mean, the best tips I could possibly give are to do your quests efficiently as possible. I just showed a great example of not doing it efficiently. What did I sell? Uh, let's see. Purchase your auction of mission discovery diplomacy. Of course, the money's not there yet for 18,000 credits. Uh, and somebody purchased my mission discovery treasure hunting for 20,000 credits. Cha -ching. Let's go ahead and turn it. But yeah, the best thing you can do is make sure to do your quests efficiently, like in order. Like look Captain at where your quests Kanan, are before you go. I recovered deal. these supplies from the ship graveyard. I've been told you need them. Finally, been weeks without working equipment. Now, if we could only get a decent meal, Viger will help I'd shake your hand, but I'm sick as a dog. The cold may freeze mucus, but it sure doesn't kill germs. Uh, Half a little does. warmer, thanks to you. Uh, let's see. Well, Cleo. We'll I don't want to send Cleo on any missions yet, just because I don't, don't want to go bring her back. Okay, she's still technically a guest. And she probably will be until I head back to my ship. I'll keep I'll keep her long enough that I can think I can. Oh no, max deployable three, so now I can't send her out anyway. Oh, here's the drop off. This should, might level me. Yep. All right. What was the next? Use the cooldown on leg shot. No. Ambush ignores from set of armor, which I already have those. Entering cover grants recharge to ballistic dampeners. Each charge absorbs 50% of the damage dealt by incoming attacks. And ambush strikes a target within 10 meters. The target is knocked back several meters. That's just an ambush, though. Yeah, we'll go with ballistic dampeners. Uh, especially if I keep her around for a while, I'll need that extra damage reduction. The next charge reduces damage uh, by 30% for three charges. That's pretty nice. I haven't really looked at the skill trees, so I might should be switching to the other tree, but I'm pretty sure not. But yeah, uh, as far as leveling, just be efficient as you can, looking at where the quest sends you. Don't try to do the quest kind of in order, so that way you don't go to do a quest and then have to come back. Ah, oh, jeez. It's pretty far. It's right over there. Also, if one quest is really far away, let's say you have, just as an example, I know it's hard to see the map, but let's say there was a quest station here and they gave me several quests. Most of them were in this region, but then one quest was way over here. Generally, we want to do all the quests here first and then turn them in. Because a lot of times, if that happens, you'll get follow-up quests or new quests that are either out here or in the middle. If you go out and just do all of them, even the ones that are far away, what might happen is you come back and they're like, Oh, hey, we need you to go back in the area you just were. And sometimes that's going to happen no matter what. This should be interesting. 
But I mean, this could be the same situation where, you know, she does so much damage that it works out. We tore those guys up, but I mean, that's one group of enemies. Let we'll this see how she does over time. Oops. Other than that, you know, try to make sure you and the companion have decent gear. Which I also tend to fail on because I get I get bored looking through the auction house and trying to sort all the mods and what have you, but that's also important too, because if you're way under geared, then that's not you're gonna kill slower and means you'll be leveling slower. Also just make sure you know at least a a good rotation for your abilities, so you're maximizing your DPS again, because the slower you kill, the slower you'll level. Other than that, there's not really much else I can think of. I was kind of thinking I should have went ahead and stopped and went back and did this, but oh well. No biggie. Because once I do it, I can actually port back. Or, or uh, quick travel back. several in here that aren't nasty. Now that's too strong. Oh, I see. What about these? This looks very suspicious. Now! Yeah, of course. Oh, I didn't see this one's strong. Yes. I knew that was suspicious. Something wasn't quite right. I really miss having a sprint ability. Master, I deliver to you something beyond The other perfection. problem is that now I need to You deserve nothing to less. Wait, how do I summon her? Oh, because she was dead, derp. I hope I'm good company. I found out if I switch to uh, investigation, if I change the way my stream is showing in the browser, that actually helps my frame rate a little bit, or it seems to. And better frame rate means. See, let's go ahead and send her because she would actually did quicker. Let's send her. Infection is maxed. Should they be entertained? 25 minutes. That's not bad. Only three can be out. Fine. I'm guessing once she becomes a... Let's abandon this. Once she becomes a full group member, that number will go to four of max NPCs that can be out. Was 
Fantastic. Fantastic. See, I almost want to take her AE abilities off. Or at least most of them. Just so you can focus on the short duration high damage ones. Luckily, as a guess, you can still do that. Eh, damn it. The kill 30. I wish the AI was smart enough to know that, hey, there's not a group of them. Don't use your AI. But yeah, I might just get rid of the AEs. Yeah, stuff is definitely dying faster. Without question. I mean, obviously there are things I can do to work with this. Like using... Uh, using Shielding Probe more often. This seems really awful. Fires both blasters doing 260 to 300 weapon damage over 3 seconds. That's really bad. Unless it's over 3 seconds. Yeah, that. Unless it's putting a dot on them, which I don't think it is. Take the grenade off. She does have both her blasters, right? That might be... Okay, she does have... We'll try that. Because, yeah, the one over three seconds... Unless it's... Like I said, unless it's throwing a dot on them... That she fires once... Eh, let's not do that. I don't really see how that's very good. Even remotely. For that slow-ass... We hope you're satisfied. I might change it so her bar is cool for a while so I can see what she's using and how often. And see if there's any point where she's waiting on cooldowns. If she is, then I'll throw something back in. But I really want to focus on her single target damage. Because so often enemies just aren't together, but they'll still do the AI. That was fantastic!
Yeah, I definitely like the things dying faster, but I hate having to tank most of the damage. Then there's a barrel. Or whatever the hell it is. A barrel of electricity. I think what I want to do is have her attack first. <laughs> Suck it, Trebek. I also just have to... Part of it, too, is adjusting my playstyle to having her with me. The thing with the Sorcerer, too, is since I had dots and shields and all that good stuff, it was easier for me to take that damage sometimes. Oh man, two barrels? Of course, the one was close enough. Two barrels right there, and no enemies around close enough to actually explode it on, explode it on them. What kind of a hole does that? It doesn't help that, again, everything has some kind of armor reduction. Let's kill this patroller first. Fantastic bombastic. And we'll go ahead and kill this one up. Stab. Yeah, one thing I need to other also be using is headshot ability or whatever it is that attacks it when they can't move. That only well they can only use when they can't move. Yeah the problem I mean definitely overall it's better. The problem is against like elites Because even though Kaleo is a bad tank, I'm an even worse tank. Yeah, if I get in the habit of using my shield probe and my evasion more often. Especially because uh, shield probe is reactivated with the explosion. With the imp, imp explosion thing. That would help a lot reducing the damage. I'm gonna make a wild guess that we have to kill that. This is where it's become very interesting. 
Yeah, gee, I'm, I'm sure that thing won't come to life when I leave the cache. I am Heavy Resource Recovery Machine 5. I will not allow you to open the cases. Do you understand? It's okay, I'm a member of the White Maw. No exceptions are made for White Maw members. Step away from the cases. <laughs> Neutralization <laughs> mode engaged. Yeah, no matter what, he's gonna attack. As far as I can tell. Ah, uh, thanks. Appreciate that. Power flows through me! Knocking me out of cover. Ah, or that. Oh my god. Ah! I hate that shit. Stung! PvP. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least while I'm running around, she's doing good damage. It's fight like that that make the cover thing very, very annoying for Sniper. You have to constantly keep going back in the cover because it either pulled you or did some ability that knocks you out, or did that actually finish? Okay, I guess it did. Mission Discovery Slicing. Didn't notice I got that one. I'll have somebody go do that next time to get back. Alright, turn to fixer. I can do that. Let's make sure. It's a frost wake outpost. to the pirate's hideout. I found this neutral chipset for a battle droid. Uh, new I think Lorimar designed it. Well, the stamp seems consistent with his work. Wait, it's brilliant. He solved the traditional limitations of a chipset brain. Hold on a moment, I need to make a call. Admiral, we've recovered a battle droid neural chipset from the White Moor. It's the advancement we've been waiting for. From the White Moor? What are they doing with tech like that? Why didn't you say something about this earlier? Frankly, I wasn't sure the engineering was possible. We didn't even know it was more than theory. An innovation like this, its value is a different magnitude. And a reproducible brain like this, far beyond war droids, producing it would be its own industry. I live to serve. The Emperor. My people. Thanking you for something on this scale seems tight. But thank you. I'll get this to the space station at once, and then alert the reclamation service to the area. There's no telling what else they might find in there. And you've delivered it to us on a plate. Oh, kitty cat. What are you looking at? I don't know. I'm just a dumb cat. Uh, well, since I'm not gearing her up anymore. Go ahead and take that. Are you finished? Ah, he did, sweet. Hmm. 
Is that it? It must... No? <laughs> what mission did I learn? From the thing. You unlocked the mission Flying Factory. Maybe it was lower level one. 